Okay, in this tutorial, we will learn that how we can make a water level detector within the Proteus. For it, first of all, we must go to the left pane and here we will see the component mode. Click on this component mode and now click on this P. Okay, now we are in the Quick Devices panel. Here we need to write 2N3904. This is our NNPN transistor which will be used for to make the water level detection. So place four of these transistors here like this. Also drag it like that. Okay, now we have four transistors. Now also take some four LEDs. So we will choose the animated one so that we can see the light. So we will go and write here green LED. And here we will go to our what's called as the animated green LED. Okay, now we will place first LED here and second LED here third one here and fourth one here also align them properly okay also take ground and connect it to the negative side of this LEDs. Okay, now we will connect our emitter of the transistors with these four LEDs. Like this, you can connect it. Okay, we will take our power that is DC. Power here and here here and here now the four source or the yes we can call it a source now we will connect power with the source of the transistor okay now we will right here 5 now our 5 volt source is connected with that of this collector terminal and also change it to the 5 volt also change this to the 5 volt and also change this to the 5 volts now we have four transistors with four LEDs. Now we need to take one logic toggle. Logic toggle like this. And we will connect the base of the logic toggle with that of the this logic and here we can see that this logic producer is at logic level 0 okay now we will run it and we will see that either now we can see that when we will push the logic it will turn our LED on and when it is on zero state the LED will be off okay now we need to To make it a little representative because in water level the signals must be going to the bases of the transistors and then the corresponding LED will light up as soon as the water level increases so we will use a little bit 
uh, we will make our own water tank like this and we will yes okay now we will double click on it and we will edit its style we will change its color to like uh, blue okay now its color is blue and we will write here water tank oh, we will double click on it and we need to change its size so okay, wait we need to take it and change its size to 0.22 inch okay now okay now this is our water tank and now we need to attach some pins to this water tank so here we will attach some pins to this water tank one two three and four there are four levels of this water tank and also four outputs like uh, the same like this or you can put some like like this one and this one because while attaching it can make some problem so do it like this okay now we need to double click on it and we will write its name so we will write in one okay and then in two okay then double click on it write in three okay and write in four and press okay and it is like a out one oh one oh two and the fourth one is o oh, three and the fourth one is o oh, four now we have these four pins and we will select and right click on it and we will attach like we will rotate them anti clockwise or you can say that on 180 degree so it's like that so now we will make our component we will select all this and we will right click on it and we will write make device and we will like water level tank we will write next 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 and we will choose category as already you know or any anyone you can like mechanics and press ok now we got our tank now click on this tank and paste it like it okay now we will right click on it and we will go to edit properties and we will click on attach hierarchy module and then press ok then again uh, we will right click on it we will go to the child sheet in here we will take four input pins and four output pins we will just short them like uh, this one uh, this one sorry uh, this one and this one okay now we will take logic toggle logic oh sorry no need no need just click on this pen and write here in one the same name which you have given to the parent sheet this is our child sheet so here in three and double click on it and in four also this one must be o one 
this one must be O2, this one must be O3, and this one must be O4. Okay, now we will right click and we will exit to parent sheet and we will double click on it. We will okay, now it is okay. Okay, now we will attach logic toggle to the input and we will see that either it is it will function or not. Okay, like this and like this. Okay, now. Okay, now we will run our circuit and now our LEDs are off. Okay, we will make it a little big for better visuality. Okay, wait. Okay, now it's okay. Now when we will click on this button, okay, I get this state changes. No, it, it is not going to change. Okay, wait. Wait. okay we have altered our name so okay now we will do one thing that is it is in one in two in three and four so again we will go to the child sheet and it is written o4 so the first one is o4 so here is o4 this one is o3 o3 this one is o two and this one is o one so okay now right click and exit to parent sheet exit to parent sheet okay now we will run it okay wait now our first is not working second is working third is working and fourth is not working and one is not working so we will rectify it again we will click on the water tank and we will go to the child sheet and here we will see in one or four in two in three in four okay one to four okay one to four so it is one to four yeah it is it is right but maybe there is some problem so yeah because i think that it is written 04 rather than 04 so okay we will again go to child sheet and here we will change its name to 04 maybe it is like 04 yeah and it is also like 01 it is 01 okay now again we will right click on it and we will exit to parent sheet and we will write now it is working fine when our water tank is at level one and then on to level two and then level, level three and then level four now you can see that we have done our water tank level detector within the proteus so hopefully you got the concept file is given in the description so you can download the file from the given link so thanks for watching